Hey guys, welcome back to Rain Gaming and this is Ray here and I'm going to show you guys the Shugo games that's happening on Ion 8.1 patch. Now there was a previous uh, Shugo game as well with the uh, red and green game and now it's going to be similar to the um, tug of war except it's tightrope walking. So um, we click on the gate and then it opens up and allows us to private entry into Shugo games and then you see on your right hand side there will be a little square box and we'll wait until we get an entry into the game itself. Uh, do take note that the Shugo games happen on server time 20.00 to 24.00 on a Thursday and Friday. So now we wait. Alright, so you can see that the cursor on the right hand side has changed and we click enter to start the games. Now we proceed inside. So we'll be led to this event lobby where everyone else has a it's called player with the number so I don't know what player I was but you know um, yeah walk up to that gate and click the main door when uh, you are allowed to enter into the game lobby so for now you can just I don't know punk around and talk to people So now we are in the second game lobby and if you see the metal bars in front that would be your starting point for your game itself. Now we just have to wait till the game starts. Um, for this one it's a tightrope walking so if you fall you die but if you you know do well you would uh, get to get rewards. Um, if you come in the first few you get really good rewards so good luck. And so the game begins. Now, if you notice, uh, the tight rope is a chain, and sometimes it can be difficult to navigate that. So it is a bit of a challenge. Uh, for the hit, you'll see these little boxes at these platforms. Um, if you manage to get one of these boxes, they do come with extra um, items that you could, you know, help yourself to. Uh, the one I've picked up so far, it's given me an extra Shugo game ticket, which is pretty useful in my opinion. So right at this point, we are going to try and jump and land on the other chain. So fun. Uh, there are times where I fell and died from this move, so do it at your own risk. And we continue walking. Now, a few things to take note of in Shugo games would actually be um, do this at your own pace, in my opinion. So these are my tips, not like professional tips. Plus, I'm not a pro gamer, so I wouldn't know how the pros do it. Um, like literally do this at your own pace so that you do not, you know, like panic and fall and make moves that I guess you shouldn't. So this is the part coming up to the end of the tight rope walking. Now this whole part is like walking on air. We have no idea what we're doing. All I just know is you follow these guiding cue cues um along the path. So they're like these little chickens that run. So just kind of follow them. Um one thing I kind of realize is at this the last QQ right in front 
once you reach him, just do a little turn. And then you see the other one and just walk to it. So it's really like trying your luck to walk on air. I don't know why they did this. I don't think it was fun either. Definitely not fun for any of us. And if you're afraid of heights, yeah. Worse. So, yeah. Oh, this is the hard one. So, moving platforms, they each get like harder and harder and faster and faster. So, you gotta jump properly. I missed this one. So, I'll show you what death looks like and how to get back in. Okay, so once you die, you resurrect back in the event lobby. You see this game, game 2 resurrection tickets lying on the floor. Click on them and you'll go back into the game. Right? So you redo it all over again. You have 10 minutes to complete this, so don't rush. And ideally, you would like to get the best box, but I'm not a superhero, so... I just make do with at least getting something out of this rather than not getting anything. Okay, there you have it, jumping through all that different platforms and the tightrope. So once you reach this point, click on the door and you would see the event reward room. Now, if you came in for a second, third, I'm pretty sure there are even bigger events like the reward boxes. But when I arrived, all I got was the standard Shugo reward boxes. Um, I'm not at a point where I need like i would like to get the big boxes but it can be pretty tough keeping your nerves calm and everything so i'm just happy to get something out of it all right and that's the shugo games for you guys thank you now i hope you guys enjoyed that video um please do remember to like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys on my next gaming video bye <laughs>